Hey there, today I'm doing a series on amplifying diversity and this topic is going to be the first time I felt racism. Ooh. So it's important to share these stories and let people know what's going on. So I'll share a series of short videos where you can kind of understand what I went through and maybe take some learnings and I love to hear replies. Talk soon. Now I grew up on the east side of Canada uh, in a small town and you know what's interesting is that there weren't very many people who look like me. And so truthfully, I didn't experience as much racism there uh, growing up because I think probably there's so few of us, we didn't seem like a threat. So the first time I heard something uh, was in grade three, there was a kid who called me a racial slur and I was all of a sudden like, I almost laughed like, what are you talking about? Why are you doing this? Why would you say that? I didn't really get it. I didn't understand why would you do something like that? It kind of took me by surprise. I didn't think much of it until I got home and talked to my mom. So my mom tried to make me feel better, but my brother, older brother came in. He was really upset. Like, what did you say? What did, what did you say back to him? Did you say anything? You should stand up for yourself. You need to like say things. I'm like, really? Okay. Um, why? I, I don't want to cause any trouble. He's like, no, no, you shouldn't let people say that to you. And I was like, okay, I'll try to do that better. That same summer uh, at a beach, some of my friends, my cousins from Toronto were, were in town and it happened again. And these bunch of people started calling us names. And my cousin was a tough guy. He stood up and said, hey, what are, you, what are you doing? He took off his shades. He said, what are you doing? And he confronted him point on, point direct. It was actually quite uh, stressful. And that's when I fully felt the brunt of it, that these people were trying to make fun of us, put us down, and it was important for us to stand up for ourselves and be who we are and, and call that stuff out. And I think that was the first time I really felt racism in my life. And I mean, that was a long time ago in the 70s, but you know, today what's happening? Now, it still happens today, and I think about myself and my kids and, uh, you know, how we can navigate this storm and try to be better people, but also create bridges and also to call it out. Uh, but it's something that's rampant today, and we have to make sure we address it. That's why this series is so important to talk about these stories. So what do I tell the story? Well, for, to amplify diversity, to tell these stories about how I felt racism growing up as a kid is to show that it's a normal thing that happens and we're all trying to deal with this thing. And when we create these stories and we share with them, we, we, incre we create better inclusion and equity and diversity. And that's why it's so important for us to have a sense of belonging and community. So I hope you enjoyed this series on amplifying diversity and how I, uh, my story about how I first felt racism. If you have any comments or questions, share your story below, share your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, follow me uh, at Rayhan Bobby across social media channels if you want more information about me. But I'd love to hear from you in terms of what do you think about this and your thoughts.